Though the collection of African art at the Quai Branly Museum in Paris has been here for some years now, these works of art could well be returned to Africa. This throne and the gates from the royal palace of the ancient kingdom of Dahomey, considered a national treasure in Benin and one that they are now reclaiming. 95% of Africa's heritage is no longer on the continent, so we need to balance this out. Works of art that France appropriated during its colonial era, when the army of General Alfred Amédée Dodds annexed the African Kingdom in 1894, taking with them their spoils of war. Now, for the first time, French President Emmanuel Macron wants them repatriated. In Cotonou, the capital of Benin, the authorities here are fighting to reclaim between five to 6,000 works of art. Around 30 artefacts currently in a private collection are yet to be displayed at this museum opened two years ago. It's an unbelievable treasure trove. It's my culture and it's just disappeared. But for it to be returned, it's a joy. It's like the prodigal son. Yet the decision to reinstate Africa's cultural heritage has left some French curators and art dealers anxious about the future of the antiquities. I think that at the moment Africa lacks the structure. These objects must not be exposed to parasites. You have to have staff who can handle, clean and repair the items if need be. And also staff who can display them and put them in a place. And at this time, this just does not exist in Africa. Recurring accusations that anger the Beninese authorities. I want this debate to stop and for them to accept that the officials in Benin are responsible, that we know how to conserve our cultural heritage and that when we reclaim our artifacts, the conditions will be in place to conserve them. And if the Quai Branly Museum has to return all the works of art, either stolen or in questionable condition, it would mean that 10 to 20% of their collection would have to be repatriated.